Hey, and welcome to Redox Movement Podcast once again. And, and we are joined today by a special guest who hails from Davenport, Iowa. We have Dr. Travis Howe, who is owner and operator of A of Howe Chiropractic uh, of Care A in Health and Wellness in Iowa. <laughs> so again, so in today's topic is is on how uh, how service providers are providing a services in their community, and Dr. Howe fits that to a T. <laughs> yes, yeah, so Dr. Howe, how are you? <laughs> I'm great. I'm great. Thanks for having me today. Good. Thank you for being here. And I'm sure that our viewers would love to know who Dr. Howe is and what inspired you to um, to venture into the career path that you're in. Sure. So uh, I'm local to my town here. And um, so chiropractic, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but chiropractic started in this town here in 1895 was the first adjustment. And so chiropractic has really always been a part of my life. And I really just kind of took it for granted. I was just a lifelong chiropractic patient. Right. And then I had my my first kiddo. And this is a long time ago. She just turned 20. So many years ago, I had my first kiddo and, you know, she was struggling with some, some ear infections and some challenges. And I was, you know, in the process of making an appointment with an ENT because the doctor told us that she had to get tubes and have an ear surgery. And I was telling this story to my chiropractor at the time. And he's like, dude, he's like, you've been going your whole life for all the things, sickness, right? Like if you get sick, you don't go to the medical doctor, you tend to come see me, right? And so I hadn't really even connected the dots until that moment. I was like, oh, yeah, duh. like, what am I even thinking? So I took my daughter in to see him. And then instead of scheduling a surgery and having tubes and all those things, um, literally, we just took her into the chiropractor. She's never had another ear infection. Um, so that really, you know, like was just eye opening that I hadn't even appreciated the power of something I'd been taking advantage of literally my whole life until I saw how powerful it was uh, to my own daughter. And so, you know, obviously fast forward a couple of years, I was enrolled into chiropractic school and actually that same daughter just started chiropractic school last week. So um, it's been quite the amazing journey here as becoming a chiropractor. Wow, amazing, yes, absolutely. You know, the best gift I know that you can give yourself as a parent is knowing that you've done a good job with yours you know, with your children that you could be, that you're able to sleep at night. So yeah. congratulations. Well, it's, it's certainly a learning curve, but yes, parenting certainly can, can have its rewards as well, Absolutely. too. Absolutely. <laughs> so what is the one thing you wish you knew at the onset of your career? Oh, sure. So, you know, I think the biggest thing is mindset, right? I, I've been blessed to work with some really great people along my journey that have really helped me to essentially reset my mindset a few times when it needed because, you know, business, being a business owner, being a healthcare provider, service provider, certainly is a, a bit of a roller coaster, right? You've got some really great days. You got some days that are a bit of a challenge. But really, it, when the mindset is that of abundance and gratitude, and you're really grateful for everything, and you're really accepting of things to come into your world, um, it really just makes the whole process more enjoyable certainly more rewarding. And yeah, if you're, if you're grateful, more grateful, I guess, for those people that you get to uh, interact with and serve on a day-to-day -day basis, it really is fulfilling. And then it just, it's fun to show up to work every day. Right. So, I mean, if you just hit the ground running with the right mindset, I think the rest will take care of itself and just enjoy the ride along the way. Excellent. Excellent. That's definitely a great response. Let me ask you this. Um, is there one person you would like to give a shout out that, you know, that maybe influenced your journey along the way? Well, there's a few people. If you want me, if you want to <laughs> have, a, have a couple of people that really, really changed my mindset. And um, I was talking to, you know, my coach now, my coaches are Sean and Lacey, Sean Dill, Lacey Book, um, Black Diamond Club, amazing coaches. They help me all the time because uh, as they say, a lot of times is, you know, the, the bigger your business, the bigger your problem sometimes, right? You don't necessarily grow out of things. You just grow into new things. And so they've certainly helped me as the business has changed to really maintain a, a good mindset through it. And very early on in my career, um, I always tell this story too, when I'm working with my students that I mentor and stuff like that, is I had a coach 
his name's Lyle Kocha. I had a coach who I had a phone call with him because I was literally about, um, I had, I had literally enough money in my bank account to just pay rent that month to the business. And I was sitting at the office. It was late one day. And, um, my wife called and she said, are you, are you coming home? You know, like it's time for dinner. And I was like, I can't, I can't come home. Cause I can't, I can't talk to you right now because I don't even know that I'm going to be able to buy the kids Christmas presents. Right. And so I was just like, I was super struggling as this mindset. I didn't even want to go home. And so I called Lyle and I said, actually I texted him. He's like, can we talk? Yeah. I called him right away. And uh, he said to me, um, he asked me a story about what kind of car I drove or what kind of car would I drive if I, if I could drive any car that I ever wanted. And I said, well, I drive a, an Audi R8. I was like, this would be just the coolest car ever. He's like, well, why don't you drive that now? And I said, well, because I'm poor. And he's like, no, he's like, I don't ever want to hear you say that word again. Poor is a mindset. Yes. I want you to shift your focus and your thought into thinking, Hey, look, I'm just not going to invest my time and my resources into this car at this time. I'm just going to keep driving my little red 99 Jetta and be happy and great, grateful that I have it. And then at some point down the road, I might invest in it. Excellent. And that next month, literally the business generated and collected more than it had for the previous six months total. And all it was, was literally just a switch of the mindset. Yes. So oftentimes our, our minds do drift off and it's so important to, to bring it back to your center or your present moment. And just, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. What are the highlights of your career? What are, what are the highlights? So, so I've been I've been lucky to do a few things. When I was a, a student at Palmer, we were able to go to Brazil on a chiropractic mission and provide free care to the citizens of Manaus. Um, you know, they don't have the medical system that we have. They don't have the chiropractors in the system that we have. And so we literally were able to um, just see really life changing um, stories and cases that we don't typically see here in the United States anymore. Um, because we have more access to healthcare. So it was really super rewarding. I mean, it was probably the coolest clinical experience I've ever had. And then, um, you know, I work, as you can tell the pictures behind me, I work with a lot of kids and families. And so, you know, being able to connect with these families and helping them find answers and helping them feel heard and understood and seeing the results that chiropractic can offer um, are, are really great too. And then, you know, that's afforded me just to be able to do even more cool stuff with my family, go on some trips that I never thought I would be able to do. And then um, I think one of the big things, too, I just told you guys that chiropractic started here in Davenport, Iowa. Yeah. And this year we were actually voted the number one chiropractor in the same town that B.J. Palmer and D.D. Palmer, the founders and developers of chiropractic, actually practiced and started the profession so super, super cool experience to be voted number one chiropractor in the same town. Wow. Excellent. Congratulations. Yes, definitely. <laughs> a big congratulations out, you know, on that right there. Cause that's a, that's a major achievement. Yes. That's a major achievement. You know, Very humbling. Yes, definitely. Especially <laughs> being in the town where it started. Yes. And then you become number one in it. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I didn't even realize how big, how much it meant to me until I was actually recording a thank you video actually it was live. So I was on a live Facebook video to thank all the people. And uh, I'm not a person that gets choked up very often, but um, that was one of the times you'll actually see, you know, Dr. Travis cry on camera. So it was a, it was a pretty powerful moment. Yes. Well, thank you, Dr. Travis. Hey folks, there you have it. Dr. Travis Howe is proven he is number one in <laughs> Dampenport, Iowa, right? We're at all where chiropractic started. So Hey, uh, Dr. Travis, how we definitely appreciate you, brother. Uh, hey, could you could you tell the listeners how can people get in touch with you or make contact with you? Sure. So um, I'm on all the social media is a great place to get a hold of me. Um, you could email me at Dr. Travis at HowellDC.com. Um, or, yeah, if you find me on Facebook or Instagram, just reach out. And, uh, you know, a, a good DM is, is a good way to get a hold of me. Excellent. There you have it, folks. Dr. Travis Howe. Hey, we appreciate you. And hey, you have a good day. And congratulations again on number one. Thanks, guys. Excellent. Right, Talk to you later.